Welcome to the RSP Water Room. I'm Matt Waltman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at some of Mitch Trubisky's game in further depth. We're going to look at the opportunity for big plays. And we're going to look at four plays where he misses these opportunities. This is not one of them. This is a nice play for High Trubisky. And you're going to watch him wait till the last second to spin out of this pressure, get his body turned around, and throw moving to his left and retreating to nearly make a really strong play to this wide receiver who just narrowly misses this catch in tight coverage. It's a really nice opportunity for a play. It's also a difficult play. Trubisky has easier plays during this game that he misses that could have gone for much longer games and it has to do with the fact that his technique, his confidence level, and his awareness of reading the field are somewhat lacking in these situations that should be a little more obvious. So let's take a look. Here's a throw that's off of a read option play. It's going to be a slant to this single left receiver and Trubisky is running the read option fake so that this inverted safety works further up the flat and that opens the slant breaking inside of this outside shade corner. And this little fake you're going to see from the slot receiver working to the right on more of a shallow route, or a bubble route, excuse me, you're going to see this safety kind of widen as well. That opens this hole. If Trubisky can hit this single left receiver on the slant in stride, he's going to have a big play up the middle and across the hash. But that's not what happens. You're going to see him make the extension, good crouch. He's looking to the middle of the field to see that if this gap's going to be there, whether this inverted safety is going to bite on the fake, and he does. And the minute he sees this, he needs to let go of this ball. But there's a little bit of a wait there. It's just slow enough that I'd like to see this ball already coming out of his hand. And instead of it being the ball being raised up and behind his back shoulder, I want to see him already in the process of delivering this ball. And he's only beginning that process. It's a small thing, but he's got to tighten that up. Because if he does, he can lead this receiver a little bit more. And I think he's waiting for this safety a little longer than he should. He's waiting for the break a little bit longer. But he needs to show a little more anticipation on this play. If he can do that, the difference between this being a catchable ball that's dropped at the back shoulder or back hip and being a ball that's placed at the front hip and in stride to this wide open area is the difference between a drop pass and possibly you know a 50 to 60 yard play touchdown in the making something that I've seen Deshaun Watson also struggle with is delivering the ball with pinpoint accuracy on plays breaking to the middle of the field. It's something that pro quarterbacks who are starters need to be consistent at, especially quick hitting plays like these. Can he do it? In theory, yes. It's just a matter of whether or not the recognition is going to be quick enough, the aggressive mentality is going to be there for him, and if he can develop that or if he needs to develop it at all whether this is just maybe a fluke play but it's just something worth noting because I've noticed this with other prospects I'm studying. Now here's another inexplicable play to me. We've got a trip set to the left here. We're gonna watch him look at the receiver working to this right side or at least to the right hash looking at the the safety finishing his drop he looks to the left side sees that that's covered and he feels the pressure off the right tackle pulling that tackle and getting to the edge I like that Trubisky does a good job of avoiding this pressure by bouncing it to the right and he gives a little signal and it looks like the only person he gives that signal to is this running back at the line of scrimmage there's nobody else around here the receivers pretty deep downfield but Trubisky just continues to roll further to the outside. He should just be dropping this ball off. Instead, he tries to break and run. 
and he's dropped at the one yard line for about a five yard loss. He needs to be aware of where his check down is and he needs to take it as soon as he sees it at this spot. It would have been better off if he just flicked it over. Instead, he gives up a sack. Here's something that's going to need a good bit of work for Trubisky because this is a wide open opportunity. This is a 30 personnel set. You've got 10 men at the line of scrimmage and because you have a single left receiver here and this is a safety, you're looking at one-on-one -on -one coverage, cover zero type of look. And you see Trubisky know what he's supposed to do. He drops back and he stares into the middle of the field. And, and then begins to make his turn looking to the left as he finishes his drop. He's hopping on his toes and waits to throw the ball because he's looking to see if the outside player is open. But he should already know that this outside player is open once he finishes that drop and deliver the ball. Instead, he waits. When he throws it, the ball has a good bit of air under it. You can see the wobble that's being delivered there. And you can see that the receiver, who has a good two steps on this cornerback, has to wait on the ball and then try and catch it. Now, he should have caught it and been able to retrieve it, but the throw gives this cornerback an opportunity to defend the pass right here. This should have been a completion, and the first thing that should have happened better was this throw. And one of it is that I think that Trubisky waits too long. I also think that when he does throw it, he puts too much air under the ball and he has to drive this ball a little bit more. Here's a second big play opportunity for Trubisky that he fails to execute because he doesn't get good angle on the throw. You can see it right here. Here comes on the next part here. Watch how this ball sails out of his hand. The shallow trailing cornerback tips it, ricochets into the arms of the wide receiver who has the safety coming over top. And Bug Howard can't make the catch. But if he drives this ball a little more and puts some velocity on it, and gets the ball in front of the receiver, this is a touchdown, or very close to it, because Howard's going to catch this ball in stride. He's going to beat the safety and the cornerback on this. He's already beaten the cornerback here, but the throw gives the cornerback the time to make the play on it. And that stems from Trubisky not being able to get much on this throw. This is not a long throw. It's the same hash throw. He's thrown it from the three. Doesn't drive the ball. It kind of sails a little bit. It's about a 30 to 33 yard throw. And it should be about a 35 yard throw to a 40 yard throw. Depending on whether he let, he would let this wide receiver run under the ball at full speed. Now, it could be the rain that is causing this ball to wobble a little bit. And, or maybe come out of his hand poorly. But this is something that definitely needs to get better regardless of the elements if he's doing this outside of rainy ball games. And I have a feeling he is, but we're going to see. I'm going to have to watch more of that to find out. When I watch these five plays of Trubisky's, what I see is a quarterback who needs to improve the velocity on his throws. He needs to get the ball out in front of receivers on big play opportunities. And he has to show the uh, decisiveness to do it as soon as he recognizes what he sees on the field. And I'm not seeing him process information fast enough to really make those decisive throws where he's leading receivers downfield. And even when he does notice an opportunity, it seems like he's a little bit hesitant on pulling the trigger. And then when he even is pulling the trigger, his feet aren't really in the right spot. He's, he seems to be either re, you know, reacting to pressure a little bit by retreating a little bit from the pressure and not stepping into the throws. He's trying to make throws from an off-balance position. And these are things that he's going to have to improve upon. He's going to have to sharpen his game 
if he wants to produce at the highest level in the NFL. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Rooms, you can check out my YouTube channel at the RSP Film Room or my blog at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.